This is code.org, and I'm going to go over today how to add CSS to a website, or how to style your website on code.org. So for starters, I'm on Lesson 7, Part 8. Um, we're not actually going to use these instructions. It's just the lesson I ended up on, 7, 8, uh, because it affects our final project, because it's going to impact that final project. So I'm going to go ahead and shrink these instructions like this, right? So if you click up here, it will shrink them down. And let's see what we have here. This is my places page, okay? Places I want to visit. I'm going to first, to add CSS, you need to click add CSS right up here. And something should pop up over here. Um, new hyphen CSS is what popped up for me. You can leave this name if you would like. Or you could right-click on it by right-clicking, or on a Chromebook or laptop, you separate your two fingers, hover over it, and click down at the same time, and you have the option to rename it as well. Just make sure you leave .css here. I'm going to leave mine as is. New one will be fine. And then I'm going to start editing this. So let's see, light green. Let's try that out. And background should impact the background color. You might notice nothing is changing yet. And we'll get there. We're first going to add some elements so you can see what CSS will do. Color is going to impact text color. So it's a bit confusing, but color will change the text color. I'm, I don't know, yellow. Border style. This is going to allow us, whoops, not equals, we need a hyphen here, to have a border. And all of this, pay attention to this, is going to go around the body of our page, right? So anything in the body, in between body and body, is going to change the style of the body of our page. Border style, something very handy, before and after, if I put a semicolon, it tells me, right after I put my semicolon, all of my options here. So say I want to try out dotted, comma, and, and I want to try out something else after, but I don't know the tags, I can just delete all the way to the semicolon, put my semicolon back, and I can see them here. So right now, again, none of this is going to show. We haven't linked it to our page yet. So I'm just getting some stuff added so we can see what it can do. I'm now going to set my border width to 8. PX stands for pixel. And finally, let's do a border hyphen color, whoa, color, space, and then this also gives you options. Notice when I add the semicolon, space, it gives me a few options for different colors I can have. Green, I'm going to do a green yellow, okay? And then I want a margin around the body, so I'm also going to use that margin, okay? I'm going to pause for a second, all right? Double check that you have each of these. Double check that you have semicolons on everything. Make sure you didn't capitalize anything in here. None of it's capital. Make sure you still have the ending tag here and the starting. And you have colons throughout here, OK? If you're sure that's correct, I'm going to go ahead and move. This is my places page. So I click here. In between body tags, so on the HTML page itself, in between the, I mean, the head tags, in between the head tags. If you are missing your head tags, if for some reason they are gone, you need to add them back, just like this. In between these two tags, what you would need to type, let's get that over, what you would need to type is link space rel equals this is style sheet. Make sure there's no capital letters in this space. H R E F H R E F equals and then quotes. Now I need to put the name of my CSS page. So and it has to be the one I just did. So I have some old ones here called style sheet, but it needs to be the one I was just working on. So I need new hyphen one. If I start typing it, I can just click because it will finish it for me. I'm now going to close it, and ta-da, it will pop up 
right away. If yours does not, make sure to click refresh and save. You're going to go ahead and click on refresh and save. Now I'm going to go back to my CSS page and start editing some of these elements. Okay, so for starters, anything that has this tag, you can edit. So body is affecting, well, everything in the body. So if, for instance, I want to impact, um, well, maybe my image. What's an image tag? IMG. So if I want to impact my images, I can add that. I'm going to go ahead and do that here. IMG space bracket. Brackets are the sh are up near the P key, right? And um, kind of under the numbers. So bracket, and I'm going to go ahead and hit enter a few times and close that bracket. And I can do, um, well, let's start with width. Width. I want to make this picture smaller. So I could do a percent here if I wanted, 50%. Um, that looks pretty good. Let's try 90% smaller. Will that do something? Oh, that's 90% of the image. Let's do 10%. And that's way too small. So let's say, you know, I liked it at 50, actually. So that changes that. Now, if I want to do, I want my to be more circular. Since mine's a square, if I do 10% or 10, I believe, maybe I do need a percent, it will round the edges, right? And as I increase this, it rounds edges even more. Since mine's a square, it will even become a circle. If yours is a rectangle, it will just become an oval. It can only round so much. Now, let's say I wanted a border. It's the exact same process. I can actually copy this from my body, hit enter, right click, and to right click you press down with two fingers separated at the same time, and paste. Ta-da, I have a border there. I can do this on all the elements if I really wanted to. That's a paragraph tag. Well, now I have a border around my paragraphs. I don't actually want that one though. And now I'm going to edit this a bit because I do not want it to be a double. Remember, if I delete the semicolon and hit it again, it will list out other possibilities. Uh, maybe I want to try out dashed for a... Now, why isn't this showing? Semicolon. Ta-da! And, I don't know, maybe I want to try out blue. Sure. Okay. Now, let's say I want my image to go onto the right side of the page. We're going to use float, colon, and I can do left or right. Notice there is not a center. We're not going to be doing that just yet, um, but we do have the left or right options, and my text will appear beside it. I'm going to put a semicolon. Now I'm going to go on and edit my paragraph. So to edit my paragraph, it's the same thing. I can do, um, I'm going to do a background color, just like I did in my body, and I don't know, I'm going to make it pink. Refresh and save, and there you are. Let's say I don't want my paragraph to go all the way over here. I'm going to use width, just like I did in the picture, because you can use these for multiple things. Mm -hmm. And there we are. Now it's smaller. Maybe I don't want it to be touching the edge. I'm going to add margin. I'm going to give it a margin of, I don't know, 5px, which stands for pixels. Mm -hmm. Maybe a bit more. Let's try 15. Oop, that's probably too much. I'm going to stick with 5. Let's hit refresh and save, which you might have to do sometimes. Okay? And so this is my page so far. As you've followed along, you should go through and change these colors. I made this ugly on purpose. Okay? So make sure, though, as you do this, make sure you have brackets on around your code. You end everything with a semicolon, and there's no capital letters in any of this. Also make sure that your HTML page has this in it. In between head and head, you need link, rel equals style sheet, herf. This is not going to be new hyphen one for you necessarily. It must be whatever your CSS page is named. That's what it must be. Okay? So you can actually make multiple HTML sheets for different pages, right? And I've already done this. So my uh, index page looks like this. Well, why does my index page look like that? It has a different style page. So instead of being linked to new.css, it was linked to style.css, which makes it light blue. 
So if you wanted to, you could have a different style for every page. And that is how you edit and style your site. You should explore it some of your own. There are a whole bunch of useful tags that you can use to kind of customize your site. You can even customize uh, links that you have and links start with the A tag. So you would do it just like this. Um, the possibilities are somewhat limitless. So you should make sure to explore on your own and make your site interesting.